Damien says, Torsten says an application Minnesota ride share license costs 100K. Why? One app only charges $100 a month subscription. Driver keeps 100% of the fare. Lower ride share application to one to 5,000 or free. I don't think that's accurate. I looked through the Minneapolis website and I wanted to see what it would be required for a driver to set themselves up in order to take private rides in Minnesota. This is called Notebook LM by Google. And you give it information and based off the information you give it, you're able to ask it questions, right? So what I did is I went to the Minneapolis website. This is it. And I looked through all of the requirements for everything. I pulled the documents, the PDFs. What's this form need? How much does this cost? I pulled everything and then I uploaded it here. So you can see all the sources on the left-hand side, Minnesota driver's manual, ride share company application, annual limo, a vehicle inspection report. So use all these different reports that I downloaded from the actual government website. How much does it cost to get your limo license? It says the cost to obtain a limo license is $150. Each limousine decal costs an additional $80 and the decal fees must accompany the vehicle registration form. So being a, a limo license driver is different from being a rideshare driver, but I, I also have documents in here for that as well. How much does it cost to get your TNC license is what it's called. That's when you're a rideshare company. Ooh, it says it does not contain information about the TNC license. That's not accurate. Um, give, give me all info about TNC. Okay. So it says a transportation network company is a company that oversees TNC drivers and services. It also includes electronic application software, which connects TNC drivers with passengers driver requirements it talks about some other stuff. Okay. So how much does the application cost? So this is different from being a limo driver. This is what other companies have to do to get started in Minneapolis. It says the application fee is $150. Is that for TNC or for limo? Okay. So it says the application, so it even has sources, right? It has citations here. It says the application fee is $150 plus a new license processing charge. Let's see what the, the sources are saying. So this is, this is being pulled, right? You can see down here, this is being pulled from the rideshare company application. So this is for the TNC application process. And this is where it's pulling the $150 from. So that's why I'm not sure what the professor is saying, but I'm, 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 I'm curious. I, I want to know, I want to know if, if this application is wrong or where he's getting his information from. He's probably going to talk about it in this video. So and I spoke with the city about this and they say Empower will need to be licensed in Minneapolis to operate there. The city says so far, no new company has submitted an application. By the way, we looked at that application at fair. It's a hundred thousand dollars, right? They're not, not cheap. So most of this video was recorded live and I missed some important factors that will actually make the right share professor, right? So here you can see that they charge 150 for the inspection and the application fee itself, but to actually become a transportation network company, it's $37,145. And that's not even the wheelchair surcharge. The wheelchair charge adds $10,615. And I believe that's what happens if you don't have enough wheelchair accessible vehicles in your fleet. Even so, this does not add up to $100,000. Well, I looked around at some other websites. A TNC provider will have to become compliant in multiple cities if they want to operate in multiple cities. So this is just the, the fee for another city. There are multiple cities that these companies will have to pay these fees for. However, I will say that any company that's interested in capitalizing on Lyft and Uber leaving Minneapolis itself should just focus on the fee for Minneapolis and not the surrounding area. However, again, at this point, we're not even sure if Lyft and Uber are leaving because the city council has said they want to do a revote and renegotiate with these companies because they do not have a good plan in place. In order to get your limo license in Minneapolis, you have to be at least 18 years old, have a valid driver's license, choose a business name, register your business with the secretary of state, obtain commercial business insurance and workers compensation insurance if needed. That's if you're employing people. Apply for limousine plates from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety, Driver and Vehicle Services. Submit a Form E to MNDOT certified by your insurance company. Register your vehicle. Have your vehicles inspected by MNDOT. Complete an annual vehicle registration application. Keep records as required. So 
I, I suspect that a lot of drivers will suddenly be interested in doing this process. So if you're in Minnesota in Minneapolis and you want to do this, I read online on Reddit that there's only one location that does inspections for limousines and it's a government facility. So if you want to do this, I suspect that as we move closer to May 1st and nothing else changes, you're going to have a lot of people and the wait time is going to be very, very, very high. So start looking into this process if this is something that you're interested in.